got that tight inside lane this time. The Irish quartet, Joan Healy, Phil Healy, and then Sarah Murray and Ian Whelan. Good support, actually, for them here. The Swiss, and uh, that's Dupont, Achtop, Sprunger and Cora. Well, Asher Phillip has got the job of getting the baton to Dina Asher-Smith down that uh, long back straight, then to Bianca Williams and Daryl Nita. And France, that's uh, Nafour, Distel Bonnet, Galet and Akpo, Akakpo, I should say. The Norwegian, Ronika Hansen, Sedakvist and Oka Parebo on the last leg. That's a pretty strong finishing uh, team there. The Ukraine with the Pov, Porobniak, Raiman and Brizgina. That's a pretty tough team as well. And Cyprus right on the outside. They'll be anchored by Artimata on that uh, last leg. So... So the British men have done well. It is a, about baton speed, as we've said several times. But the first, uh, just looking at the qualification, the first three plus the two fastest through to tomorrow's final. So Sweden, Ireland, Switzerland, Great Britain, France, and then uh, Norway, the Ukraine, and Cyprus right on the outside. problems on the start. I tell you what, the Ukrainian Pove has gone off very quickly indeed, and so has uh, Asha Philip. Now, can she get the baton to Dina Asher-Smith? Yes, she has. It's a good run down the back straight for the, the British uh, record holder, and Great Britain doing very nicely indeed, so the Ukraine going very strongly, and uh, the French going well too, as they go through 200 metres, the third leg, there's one a problem on the outside. I think Norway have gone now, but Great Britain absolutely flying in this race, and uh, Norway doing quite nicely well. Great Britain and France. And look at this, Ukraine on the near side, but Great Britain absolutely flying here with the Switzerland coming through. Great Britain Britain winning this, Switzerland in second, Ukraine in third, 42.6, and that's a very, very quick time for the British team. They came in with a 43-45. I know the, the British record is much... Uh, um, that's 42.10, so that's a pretty good run indeed. 42.97 on the season, just looking at the stats. 42.59, so they've qualified with the season's best, and that was a good effort by the British quartet. It really was. Asher Phillip, good leg. Dina Asher Smith, very, very powerful down the back straight. And uh, when you look at uh, the baton changes, they weren't bad. Well, at the risk of tempting fate, Stuart, I must say the British Relay Quartet have really impressed so far, particularly tonight where there are the smallest margin of errors in the short sprint relay. And uh, a real chance, I would have thought. And that was a very conservative baton change, but the very fact that you can have a conservative baton change and still win with such ease does rather suggest that there may be more to come tomorrow. And certainly, if you're looking to boost the medal count, picking up a couple of relay goals is one very good way of doing it. Yeah, good uh, four by one for the British women. They've got the final, it was the first three, plus the two fastest losers to go through. But uh, Dina Asher-Smith really flew down that uh, back straight. And that's the 200-metre uh, runner. They normally put the 200-metre person there as they put Adam Jamila in the men's 4x1-2. Uh, that's pretty quick time, too. Yes, it was good to see Adam Jamili running. He was storming down the back straight, wasn't he? Yeah. Great leg. Well, it's often referred to as the long leg, that second leg, and you often put your 200-metre man in. Then you put your good bend runner on the third leg, and then you've got the, well, the home straight to negotiate. But the first leg, actually, is quite difficult. You've got to have someone really reliable, no false starts needed, and there's the result. Great Britain and Northern Ireland, season's best, 42.59. Switzerland, good run, national record for them, 42.87. And the Ukraine qualify with the season's best, 40. 42.93. So, sprint relay. Eight teams Poland, Greece, Slovakia, Germany, Spain, Hungary, 
Netherlands, Italy. The first three go through to the final. On leg two for the Dutch, Daphne. It's all you have to say in Holland, Daphne. The full Dutch squad, Jamil Samuel on one, Schippers on two, Van Schaken on three, and Sedney on four. They are a team with the Midas touch. So let's keep our eyes on that first bat and change for the women in orange there. Two from the left. It is Samuel to Schierpers. Well, we're looking down the back straight there. That's not, is that Daphne Schierpers? I don't think it is, is it? No. It's not. They've made a change. And there they are at full stretch around the bend. Well, there may be one or two concerns here for the Dutch team. And the Dutch do have the baton in hand, and uh, I'm not quite sure what the Daphne Schippers there, but it is Germany who are storming through. The Dutch are going to get through there along with the Italians, but I, one of those baton changes was so late in the day, yeah. there could be a problem. Yeah, there could. On the first changeover, the outgoing runner was uh, way, way ahead. And I'm just wondering whether there might be a disqualification of the Dutch there. If, if not, they are very, very close to it. It was a very, very close encounter of the first kind. It took ages to get that baton across the, the lead runner. So we'll have to wait and see on that. And the backstory must be, what happened to Daphne Schipper? She was supposed to run there. We saw her warming up with the team as she picked up a bit of a niggle. I don't know. I'm just speculating there. We're speculating about the possibility of a disqualification. But if there is, we shall let you know just as soon as we do. Mm. The pole vault final continues over on the far side. That's a roll-off of Germany. Her second attempt at 4.45, ending in failure. The two Germans there, Martina Strutz and Annika Roloff, both failing. Here we go. Well, we saw that baton change down the back straight. There you can see the Germans having a little bit of a fumble. Mm. Has to be safe and sorry, though. They did have plenty of time in hand to get the baton in hand. Storming last leg run there for the Dutch, but uh, are there potentially one or two issues for them? There you can oh, see. They're still there, aren't they? Well, they're still there, I must admit, and uh, I was very surprised that was a very long, long change. Germany, Italy and the Netherlands certainly has things stand going through to the final.